All right, so now let's look at it at the video game texture pipeline. First thing first, you unwrap your object. So you need to unwrap object, mesh basically, okay? Which will make you basically do projection. So project, project mesh. All right, you guys, that's the main thing. Most of the time it will be planner unless, unless you are doing a head then it will be spherical. Alright, then it would be spherical, you guys. Uh, but in this class, it will be only planner. I apologize. It's uh, right here. Okay? And I will show you. It's basically the planner is what we did when we project our image on a plane for our virtual studio. That's what it is. So we need to project the mesh in planner using selection set. All right, and the different axis of projection. All right, so that works. For, that's the first thing. After we've done that, we scale every we scale UV map. Sorry, UV map into zero to one zone in Maya. Okay? And then we saw together saw together you guys the UV map. That's story. Okay? When you unwrap the mesh right here using planner, you need to make sure that you select and you find and select the natural seam of your object. And I'll go through that when I'll do it. Okay? Start together, export the UV map, UV map outside my R. Open the, ex U the UV map export into Photoshop make and adjust no make uh, the texture the texture following your UV map and that's in Photoshop still right then save photoshop picture with that the uv map wireframe obviously and apply your oops sorry apply your picture to object to mesh and adjust the UVs to fit perfectly your mesh. That's it. That's what you have to do. Those seven things. You unwrap your object using planner mesh. You scale your UV map into a zero one zone in Maya tight as possible after you reattach them properly. You saw the I mean you attach them properly together after that the UV map. You export the UV map you just done. You open the UV map export in Photoshop. Create your texture following the UV map. And then save that picture without the wireframe, obviously, of the UV map. And then you apply it in, in, in uh, Maya and make it fit to your mesh. Okay? That's all. Let me save that.